Love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. Dog breath, do you? Oh, Clifford. I'll just mix this toothpaste around a little. Okay, now, open wide. Oh, come on, boy. Smile. Don't be scared. That's it, Clifford. Good boy. That's not so bad now, is it? Say, ah. What's that? <gasps> oh no! She's gonna fall! Oh. Clifford, do something! Good catch, Clifford. Oh no, Clifford! <gasps> you come with me, little one. She's so little. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to take care of her till she's big enough to fly away with the other birds. Worms, Clifford. That's what a baby bird needs. And you know how to get worms, right, boy? Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. <gasps> What's that big red fur ball up to? Oops, Clifford. Oh. Uh, sorry, Mr. Bleakman. You couldn't have brought home a nice little chihuahua. Maybe we should go to the pet store for worms. And maybe you should stay here and put back all this dirt. Come on, Birdie. After the pet store, we can stop at the library and look at a book on flying. Great job, T-Bone. Now jump! Okay, here I come. <laughs> What's wrong? You sure I'm gonna fit through that thing, Cleo? Have I ever steered you wrong? Well, there was that time. Just jump. Okay! Hey guys, what you doing? Practicing tricks, Clifford. But I think I need a bigger hoop. T-Bone and I are thinking about joining the circus. Want to join too? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> but maybe Birdie'd like to. Who's Birdie? She's this baby bird Emily's taking care of. 
Uh-oh. A baby, huh? Babies are nothing but trouble. Yeah! Once my human got a baby rabbit and didn't play with me for a week. A, a whole week? Yeah, a whole week! Face it, Clifford. Humans like babies, because babies are cute. So, if Emily starts paying too much attention to this birdie baby, you're going to have to make yourself cute as a baby, too. Cute as a baby. You're such a cute baby, Clifford. <gasps> Thanks, Cleo. See you later, guys. Forget the circus. I'm gonna start a doggy advice column. Huh? Down, you king size canine. What's all the noise? Look at Clifford, he's so cute. What's he doing? <laughs> He's acting like a puppy again. <laughs> Careful, Clifford! Birdie! Now calm down, boy. Let's get her inside to dry off. What's gotten into you, Clifford? Hmm? I think you'd better go to your doghouse and calm down a little. Birdie and I came to visit. Oh. Let me teach you a new game I learned at school. Give me your paws. I went downtown to see Mary Brown. She gave me a nickel to buy me a pickle. The pickle was sour. I gave her a flower. The flower was red, and this is what... Birdie! She's in trouble! Do something, Clifford! Please! Good job, boy! Poor baby! She really wants to fly, but she just isn't ready. I'm gonna get her a worm. Keep your eyes on her, Clifford! I know how you feel. When I was a little tiny puppy, I couldn't even jump up on the couch. Now I'm bigger than the couch. <laughs> I'm bigger than the house. Ah, uh, don't worry. You'll fly someday. All you need is a little practice. So let's practice. Thank you. First, you gotta just practice flapping your wings, like this.
Great job, Birdie. Now let's take you up a little higher. That's great, you're flying! All you need is a little extra help. What in blue blazes? Clifford, at it again. Bye-bye. Clifford, is that birdie flying up there? Oh, Clifford, I'm really, really gonna miss her. But isn't it great? Now she can fly home with all the other birds. I'm sorry that taking care of Birdie took so much of my time, Clifford. But you should know that no matter what happens, you and I will always be together. I'll always love you, Clifford. You're my big red dog. Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Little Big Snack. One day, Speckle headed for the kitchen to make a snack. He started with two big slices of pumpernickel bread and some cheese. Then he added some lettuce and tomatoes and pickles and more cheese and green olives and black olives and red olives and everything else he could find in the refrigerator until Speckle had created the biggest sandwich in the whole wide world. A huge, colossal, enormous, way too big to get in your mouth kind of sandwich. Speckle tried every which way to eat his beautiful sandwich until he finally realized that the best way to enjoy such a big snack was to share it. So Speckle invited his friends over, and together they shared the best big sandwich in the whole wide world. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Two words, Emily Elizabeth. Titanic Tower. It's the most absolutely amazing building in the whole entire world. Wow. I'm going to the grand opening. Titanic Tower is so big and so high, you can practically see forever from the top. Lucky Jetta. Yes, I know. Jetta, honey, time to go. Oh, too bad you can't go, Emily. But I'm sure you'll find something to do on this little island today. <laughs> yeah, I'll find something to do. <laughs> you know, Emily, there are all kinds of amazing things to do right here on the island. That is true. Some very amazing things. I guess. 
But nothing as amazing as the Titanic Tower, that's for sure. Oh well. Come on, Clifford. I'm sure we'll find something to do. Oof! Oof! Come on, T-Bone. There's some really great stuff in here today. <laughs> There's some really great stuff out here, too. Hi, guys. Hey, Clifford. Come on, big guy. Dig in. No, thanks, Cleo. Want to chew on my shoe? Nah, I don't really feel like it. What's up, Clifford? Emily doesn't want to play today. She thinks there's nothing to do on the island. Is she kidding? What about running in the sand, rolling in the dirt, digging in the garbage? This island is paradise. I know, it's home. It's the best. But Emily just isn't seeing it. It's not Titanic Tower. Maybe you should show her how much fun it is here. Yeah, and I know just how to do it. Look at all these. I love hunting for seashells. Me too. But I wish I could have gone to see the Titanic Tower Woof. with Jetta. Huh? Woof. Clifford? You look great, Clifford. Woof. <laughs> wow! Looks like Clifford wants to take us for a ride. This was a great idea, Cleo. Of course. It was mine. <laughs> sort of. Hey! This is really fun! It sure is! I bet we're having almost as much fun as Jetta. <gasps> there it is! The Titanic Tower! Oh, Mom, isn't it amazing? Well, yes, that <laughs> it's going to be so crowded today. Wouldn't you rather go to the zoo? No way! I want to go all the way to the top! Come on, here comes the bus! Clifford, where are we going? I think he's taking us out to meet some friends. Wow, beluga whales! I've seen them from the shore before, but never like this. Where are they? Huh? as exciting as going to the top of Titanic Tower, but it was pretty great. I wonder where Clifford's taking us now. <sighs> you know, Jetta, the zoo is just around the corner from here. I don't want to go to the zoo, Mother. I want to go to the Titanic Tower. <sighs> All right, honey, if that's really what you want to do. Hey. <laughs> I haven't been to this beach in a long time. Me neither. I don't remember seeing all these pretty white rocks before. I don't think those are rocks. They're sea turtle eggs! And it's hatching time! There you go, little fella. <laughs> they think Clifford's their mother! <laughs> Don't 
They're not the Titanic Tower, but they sure are cute. They sure are. Oh, good. We made it, honey. <laughs> Hurry, Mother! There it is! Two tickets for the Titanic Tower, please. Sorry, miss. You'll have to go to the end of the line. Oh, no. Uh, you're sure about the zoo? Oh, Clifford! Dandelions! Yeah, tons and tons of them. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. I'm gonna make a wish. I wish this day would last forever. Oof. Now you make a wish, Clifford. <laughs> it's almost closing time, Mom. We've got to get to the top. Sorry, folks. Elevator's broken. But you can take the stairs. Lookout point straight ahead. This trail takes two days to climb. Not with Clifford, it doesn't. <laughs> These stairs will take two days to climb. <laughs> This is one of my favorite places on the island. I'll bet we're even higher than the Titanic Tower. Wow. Wow. Now this is amazing. Sounds like Emily had a pretty good day after all, Pedro. That's what it sounds like, Victor. Hey, Jetta, how was the Titanic Tower? Amazing? Amazing? Uh, yes, exactly. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> we had a pretty good time, too, here on our little island. Hmm, I'm sure you did. Maybe next time you can come to the Titanic Tower with me, Emily Elizabeth. Next time. Next time, we're going to the zoo. Thanks again, Clifford, for a really amazing day. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is play fair. Hurry, T-Bone. My turn is next. Okay, Cleo. I'm next, I'm next, I'm next, and then it's Max's turn. Okay, Cleo, your turn. Oh, boy. Hey. Oh, woo. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't fair. You're right. We're supposed to take turns. That's the fair way to play. Oops, sorry. It's your turn, Cleo. <laughs> Thanks, Mac. You're welcome. 
playing fair makes playing fun. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is play fair. Toothpaste around a little. Okay, now open wide. Oh, come on, boy. Smile. Don't be scared. That's it, Clifford. Good boy. That's not so bad now, is it? Say ah. What's that? <gasps> oh no! She's gonna fall! Oh. Clifford, do something! Good catch, Clifford. Come with me, little one. She's so little. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to take care of her till she's big enough to fly away with the other birds. Woo. Worms, Clifford. That's what a baby bird needs. And you know how to get worms, right, boy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Woo. What's that big red fur ball up to? Oops, Clifford. Oh. Uh, sorry, Mr. Bleakman. You couldn't have brought home a nice little chihuahua. Maybe we should go to the pet store for worms. <laughs> and maybe you should stay here and put back all this dirt. Come on, Birdie. After the pet store, we can stop at the library and look at a book on flying. Hmm. Great job, T-Bone. Now jump! 
Okay, here I come. <laughs> What's wrong? You sure I'm gonna fit through that thing, Cleo? Have I ever steered you wrong? Well, there was that time. Just jump. Okay! Hey guys, what you doing? Practicing tricks, Clifford. But I think I need a bigger hoop. T-Bone and I are thinking about joining the circus. Want to join too? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> but maybe Birdie'd like to. Who's Birdie? She's this baby bird Emily's taking care of. Uh-oh. A baby, huh? Babies are nothing but trouble. Yeah! Once my human got a baby rabbit and didn't play with me for a week. A, a whole week? Yeah, a whole week! Face it, Clifford. Humans like babies, because babies are cute. So, if Emily starts paying too much attention to this birdie baby, you're going to have to make yourself cute as a baby, too. Cute as a baby. You're such a cute baby, Clifford. <gasps> Thanks, Cleo. See you later, guys. Forget the circus. I'm gonna start a doggy advice column. Huh? Pipe down, you king-sized canine! What's all the noise? Look at Clifford! He's so cute! What's he doing? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Careful, Clifford! <laughs> Birdie! <laughs> now calm down, boy. Let's get her inside to dry off. <laughs>